As the premier steep slope roofing tile on the market, EcoStar offers strong alternatives to natural slate and shake roofing materials. Made from modern synthetic materials, EcoStar tiles match the appearance of the natural materials and maintain that appearance over time. An affordable and environmentally friendly alternative to natural slate and shake, EcoStar products capture the beauty of the natural products while providing superior durability and protection from extreme weather conditions. EcoStar products are available in Class A and Class C fire ratings and are Class 4 impact rated when tested to the Underwriters Laboratory's UL2218 standard. Available in multiple profiles and unlimited custom colors, EcoStar tiles enhance the beauty of residential and commercial buildings. Today we're going to give you an overview of the installation of EcoStar products. Please note that the installation of each product may vary slightly. Detailed up-to-date instructions for specific products are available on the EcoStar website, www.ecostarllc.com. Upon delivery of the tiles to the worksite, first check that all necessary materials are on site and note the information on the pallet cover labels. Important information about tile profile, color, quantity, and blending can be found here. All pallet covers should then be removed and product checked. If open pallets of tiles may need to be moved to different on-site locations during installation, only remove the upper portion of the plastic wrap exposing the bundles as they are needed. This will help stabilize the bundles should they need to be relocated. All tiles come with slight shade variations that closely mimic that of real slate or shake. Tiles are blended at the factory to eliminate the need for on-site blending. EcoStar tiles that have been ordered and supplied to the job site under one EcoStar sales order number do not need to be blended on site before installation. If EcoStar tiles have been supplied to the job site under two or more EcoStar sales order numbers, all tiles on site must be blended together before installation. Specific blending instructions can be found on the EcoStar website under the Resource Library tab. EcoStar will not be held responsible for correcting the appearance of unblended installations. It's recommended that EcoStar tiles not be stored in temperatures lower than 45 degrees Fahrenheit. If the tiles have been stored in temperatures below 45 degrees Fahrenheit, they must be restored to a temperature above 45 degrees Fahrenheit before installation. For assistance with installations below 45 degrees Fahrenheit, please contact the EcoStar Technical Department. EcoStar tiles should only be installed on a minimum of 15 32nd or nominal 1 half inch plywood decking minimum 7 16 inch OSB, or minimum 3 quarter inch tongue and groove decking with end gaps not exceeding 1 quarter inch. Under all circumstances, existing roof materials must be removed down to the deck prior to installation. Be sure that the roof deck is in good condition. Replace any damaged or rotted roof deck sheeting. The tiles are not recommended for slopes less than 312. If this is desired, contact the technical department for review. EcoStar's Gold Star warranty application requires the use of EcoStar ring shank fasteners. Both hand drive and pneumatic coil nails are available. EcoStar's Glacier Guard 100 granular surface or 300 smooth surface high temp must be installed at the eaves and rake edges as well as the hips, valleys, and protrusions before installing the tiles. When installing Glacier Guard, peel the release film off the bottom half of the sheet and place onto the deck. Then peel off the rest of the release film and finish placing the membrane. Next, install metal edging at eaves and rake edges. EcoStar recommends that drip edge, valley metal, and flashing be either copper or stainless steel. Flashing metal, however, is not covered by any EcoStar warranty. To prevent premature failure from corrosion, like materials should always be used when fastening metal flashings. Once the roof deck is prepped, install EcoStar AquaGuard underlayment for a Class C roof system. If a Class A roof is required, install GAF VersaShield over the entire deck, including areas already covered by the Glacier Guard. A critical step in the installation is bending. Every tile other than Niagara Slate, Niagara Shake, and Shake Plus must be bent in a downward arc before it is applied to the roof deck. Grab the top of the tile, textured side up, and the bottom edge of the tile, and bend the tile in a downward motion until the tile maintains its arc. If a pneumatic nailer is utilized for application of the tiles, care should be taken to determine the proper pressure and depth setting. 
Nails that are overdriven could cause tiles to lift. Start at 90 pounds pressure in the nail gun and increase or decrease as needed to ensure a level nail head with the tile. Nails should never make a dimple or impression in the tile. Also be sure not to nail while holding your hand behind the tile. This will cause the tile to kick up. Each tile requires at least two nails, but four may be used to meet local building code or wind warranty requirements. The initial layer of tiles becomes the starter row. This layer will be completely covered by the first exposed row. Field tiles must be installed at the proper exposure for the slope of the roof. Check the installation guide available at www.egostarllc.com for exposure options. Also, be sure to note the exposure marks on every tile. These should be used and followed for proper installation. A minimum of 3 8 inch gap is required between tiles and between tiles and protrusions. As the tiles are installed up the roof slope, it is recommended that chalk lines be snapped horizontally. The horizontal lines will keep the tiles looking straight and uniform. When installing slate tiles in a traditional pattern, snapping vertical lines will help keep the space between the tiles in line from row to row. Do not use red chalk as it will leave permanent stains. As the tiles are installed on the roof, the tiles must be cut at rake edges, valleys, and projections. The tiles may be cut using a straight edge and a utility or roofing knife. Once the tile has been scored with the knife, it can be folded along the scored line. Finish cutting the tile from the back of the fold. When a slate profile tile has been cut, it may be desirable to add scalloping. This gives the edge the appearance of real slate and can be done simply using a utility knife. As the tiles are installed up the slope of the roof, periodic inspections should be performed from the ground to ensure there is no patterning developing and that proper blending is occurring. Gold Star Warranty Application requires that authorized applicators correct any blending problems prior to issuance of the warranty. Tiles can be slippery when wet. Caution should be exhibited with early morning dew and after rain or frost. EcoStar suggests the use of tow boards, OSHA approved harnesses, and safety equipment at all times. As work progresses up the roof, care should be taken to minimize traffic over completed areas. Tiles will show any dirt tracked across these areas. EcoStar roofing tiles may be cleaned using a mild detergent and a soft bristle brush or a power washer cleaning attachment such as the one shown here. This attachment has a brush around its perimeter and a rotating set of spray nozzles in the center and is typically used to clean decks or floor surfaces. Do not use solvent-based cleaners. There are many installation options available to make an EcoStar roof stand out from the rest. Besides the standard traditional slate patterns, random width, offset, and staggered pattern installations are often used. EcoVent can be installed on pitches from 312 to 1812. It must be used with an equal or greater amount of soffit vent. A three inch slot is required at the ridge. EcoVent must be installed with minimum nail length of two and a half inches. Leave the synthetic underlayment about six inches long at the roof ridge and fold it back over the top row of tiles and under the vent. The vent should be installed on top of the underlayment. Trim off any exposed underlayment after vent and ridge cap installation is complete. Detailed installation instructions can be found in each roll of EcoVent. When all tiles have been applied to the roof slopes, preformed hip and ridge tiles are applied to all hips and ridges. Each EcoStar product has its own hip and ridge tiles. Hip and ridge tiles are always installed with a 6 inch exposure, regardless of the roof slope or field tile exposure, except for Niagara Slate and Niagara Shake hip and ridge, which can be installed at up to a 9 inch exposure. It is recommended that when installing hip and ridge tiles over EcoVent, to first place the tile at the proper exposure and drill a pilot hole through the nail locations and through the tile below using a cordless drill with a drill bit slightly smaller in diameter than the nail shank. Nail through the pilot hole using an EcoStar 2.5 inch ring shank hand drive nail. Drive the nail until it touches the surface of the tile. Do not crush the EcoVent. Accumulated snow tends to slide off of EcoStar tiles all at once. An effective snow retention system should be part of the roof plan where snow is common. EcoStar recommends choosing a snow guard that features a flat sheet metal nailable mounting flange available from numerous manufacturers. Snow rails may also be used on an EcoStar roof. 
contact the snow retention accessory manufacturer for details about number and placement of snow guards required or snow rail mounting details. Contact EcoStar if in doubt about customer selected guards for installation. Incorrectly installed guards can lift tiles. This concludes the EcoStar installation instructional video. If you have any questions, please refer to the product installation guides always available at www.ecostarllc.com or contact EcoStar at 800-211-7170.